Hi, Pastor Nick here. Uh, just wanted to share something with you. Uh, if you have been reading through uh, 1 John, uh, maybe you've read verses uh, 28 and 29 of chapter 2. Uh, but if you haven't, here's what uh, John writes. He says, And now little children, abide in him, in Jesus, so that when he appears, we may have confidence and not shrink from him in shame at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you may be sure that everyone who practices righteousness has been born of him. And uh, this is a reminder of uh, what we gain uh, when we are made children of God. And being children of God is something that is, uh, is important uh, for us to know and understand, and it's vital for us as we live every day and uh, whatever it is we happen to be doing uh, to really understand what the power is that God has for us, uh, that he is always with us and how he loves us and what his gospel means for us uh, every day, no matter what it is we're facing. Uh, there happens to be a couple of examples that I read also along with this today. Uh, it says uh, here in my, in my book, lest one of us be so overwhelmed with this unbelievable fact that we are children of God, John says, and so we are. Uh, the missionary uh, Ziegenbalk tells us in translating this text here in 1 John with the aid of a Hindu youth, the youth rendered it, quote, that we should be allowed to kiss his feet, end quote. And when he asked him why he, the, the child diverged from the text so much, uh, the youth said, children of God, that is too much. That is too high. It, it couldn't possibly uh, be made that. We, maybe we can kiss his feet. Uh, but John tells us, and God tells us through John, that it is not too high, that it is exactly what God has done for us. Uh, it's what God has declared us to be. Uh, you may remember in the screw tape letters by uh, C.S. Lewis, uh, there is Screwtape, who is uh, instructing Wormwood uh, about how to, uh, uh, guiding him in the art of, of, of uh, guiding a human being into hell. And he warns his pupil here that his task is all the more difficult because the enemy, that is God, has a curious fantasy of making all these disgusting little human vermin into sons. Uh, and if we look at that, we remember this is exactly what God has done. Uh, he has made us his children, and it's not too high, it's not too lofty. God has said that is exactly who you are uh, because of your faith in Jesus Christ. And uh, that means that no matter what problem you're facing, you are God's child, uh, and he's looking to take care of you uh, the same way any a good parent wants to take care of their children, uh, to provide and be there and to strengthen and support and encourage. And uh, the good news is, again, you are in his family. I don't know what better news there could possibly be uh, than that God views you as his child and he loves being your father. Uh, and the good news is there's nothing that you could possibly do to be disowned by the family, by God, because uh, Jesus said that he died for all of our sins once and for all, uh, not just 50% or 99% or 99.999%, but every single one of our sins that we have committed uh, and will ever commit. Jesus died for those, and so we don't have to worry about being separated from God as his children. Uh, we are now officially and permanently forever and ever part of uh, God's family. Uh, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I pray that uh, you'd remind us of that great truth, that we would be comforted uh, when we are anxious, uh, that when we are worried, we'd be reminded that you are looking out for us, you are looking over us, directing all things uh, for our good. Uh, and uh, sometimes it may not seem like it's good, uh, but you've promised that you will work all of that out. And I pray that you would give us the, uh, just the mindset and the heart to be able to live that way, to be able to trust you and to rely on you in all of those difficulties. Uh, and God, I pray that uh, you would do this uh, because you have made us one uh, with Jesus and you've given us your Holy Spirit and you promised you'll never abandon us. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.